and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide, and today we got the flashbacks. Um, honestly, as per usual, flashbacks. We can make this video as exciting as possible, although it never will be because it is flashbacks, but I'm going to try. Hopefully, they're fire. I have a bones pick with, um, what's it called? What's that accounting? Mutt Leaks? They had rarely been letting me know what's good with these flashbacks, and I really used to like when I got those early. I love Legend Saturday. I get those nice and early, prep for that video. Flashbacks, though, I just gotta kind of wait until they come out. It's kind of annoying, to be quite honest with you guys. But we're gonna wait for those, obviously, and let's just pray they're not underwhelming. Let's pray they're not freaking underwhelming. Now, let's anticipate right now, right? If you think about it, it's gonna be low speed card, bad stats, good name. That's every time. I, I, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put my YouTube account down on it. Now watch, say they're gonna drop the flashback, like some crazy flashback. Who'd be a cool flashback that they could drop? Uh, who's old, who's old? I don't know. Like today's gonna be the day they drop flashback Marshawn Lynch or some shit, but I doubt it because typically I don't think flashbacks would be legends. I think that's would be current day players. There's a good quarterback that could be a flashback. I don't really know. Tom Brady, oh, you know what they never did? A Tom Brady flashback. Tom Brady flashback to like 2009, 2007, right around there. That'd be pretty cool. But anyways, guys, uh, I did, I do believe they are updating the um, the flashback pack right now. It was off the store before, which does mean that, yep, most likely the price will be increased at 10.30 when it does drop, which is right now. So it's actually back at Ultimate Team real quick. Guys, before we get into this video though, you know the deal. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell, come join the family. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day, so. Let's keep growing the family, boys. We're at about 11.3K. Let's keep growing. 12K is the next big goal, so thank you guys for that. Let's keep going. Let's keep grinding. Comment down below what you guys think of these flashbacks when we do end up seeing them. And do you guys get excited for these flashbacks anymore? Like, what, what, what's the deal? Do any of you guys actually use these flashbacks? You just come to chill for the video? Or you just like seeing the cards? I mean, I'm, I just like seeing the cards. I like seeing the content. Obviously, that's a big part of it. I'm not seeing these flashback packs up right now. Hmm. Imagine EA doesn't put their flashback stuff out, but like I said before we get into that Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up all the loyal all the OG all the supporters Always make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it means a lot helps the channel out tremendously So never forget if you want to help me grow want to help out the channel Always hit the like button take a second out of your time now. I'm gonna check the auction block real quick. I Know nothing could be up already. I am genuinely curious though, but one sec. Let's go check this out right, guys, we're over on the Photoshop screen EA is freaking ridiculous it is 10 50 just about they're 20 minutes late with flashbacks i'm almost positive they forgot about the flashbacks because i was in the stream and they literally were like all right well we're done with the ultimate team stuff let's head on over to madden mobile and as the madden mobile guy's going he's like oh by the way it's my turn to do flashbacks he never said he was going to do that it clearly seems like they forgot about flashbacks today the packs in madden aren't even out i don't think let me check real quick before i give, I give you guys the stats go over to the store the pack that they just come out let's see Trading currency. There's still no flashback packs in the game, so these cards aren't even in the game yet, but they are released. Released. I don't, I don't know what the hell they're doing. I'm getting really frustrated at this point with Madden. They're, they're always delaying content. They're always late. They're always, they're, they make a mistake every single day. Like, nothing else to say. It's every single day. It's, it's, it's whatever. I'm not going to get too annoyed, but it's just getting kind of frustrated. They completely forgot about it. And there's just literally thousands of people in the chat complaining that there's no flashbacks, and they're just sitting there disregarding it. But anyways, going to Tyre Matthew's stats, let's calm down. 90 overall strong safety, 5 foot 9, 87 speed, 89 excel. That's pretty solid for a strong safety. 76 tackles, pretty low. 88 play rec, 85 pursuit, 85 man, 83 zone, 82 at power. Tyra Matthews typically he's typically a cornerback. He's it's a safety that plays like a cornerback. That's what his stats look like, right? He's usually a cornerback with hit power. Essentially, that's the best way I can describe him. Do I think he's worth it? Not really. He does have that dual looking archetype, which I believe meant he could play strong or free easily. No, like no uh, reductions that much to overall, whatever. But like I said, 85 man and strong safety is really good, but the 83 zone is kind of low. He can kind of hit. Tyron Matthews always like that. He can do a little bit of everything, but he's not great at anything. He's not the fastest. He's not the best tackler. He's not the best. He doesn't take the best pursuit angles. Not the best coverage guy. Not the best hitter. I really don't like him. I think he's all around bad. I wouldn't say all around good. At this point, I think he might say all around bad. On certain teams, it's probably awesome, right? On the right theme team with the right cams and powered up, you could probably have like a 90 speed with like 
80 90 zone probably i mean a 90 man probably possible on some teams but on most teams the average team without all those abilities and boosts that are tiered and chem to him i can't see him being that great personally what i pick him up i'm a bit i like tyron matthew i'm a fan of him and all but his cards just never really do it for me he has had a few cards in the last few years that have been pretty awesome uh what's that one i wish we had that one promo what's the promo where they give the cold team boost it's not gonna come to me it'll be like plus two man for the entire team i always forget the name of those cards but he had a pretty good card he was one of those but let's head it over to the next card, which is pretty underwhelming if i do say so myself but obviously we got to go into it we got to talk about it although i imagine how many people are too excited about it mercedes lewis guys what were they thinking with this one mercedes lewis nothing wrong with the guy right look at his stats six foot six solid 74 speed ass 81 strength ass 79 casting traffic ass 76 route running ass 70 medium route running ass 80 spec catch ass 84 catching decent 87 run blocking good so essentially do you guys want an extra uh, right tackle on your team because if you do mercedes lewis should be he should be listed as a right tackle not a tight end this is not a tight end he's no by any this is a this is this is lane johnson don't get me wrong if you want to use him as just a run blocker that's fine put him in there as a backup run blocker but like 74 speed in his prime he was not this bad in his prime he was not this he is 90 overall and only one stat is better than 84 wait no, let's, let's get better he's a 90 overall and besides his 87 run block these stats average out to like a 78 his average stats if you average out all the math and stuff probably is like a 78 minus the run block that that's ridiculous i mean like i said again, again maybe powered up and chemmed up with zone run he could maybe get a 90 run block which is pretty cool i guess for a tight end which i guess would be the only use for him but like come on i know in his prime he come on, at least give him like an 80 speed 80 speed with an 87 run block with at least 80 catching all across the board for 80 catch traffic this card's decent you give him a 74 pursuit he can't move he can't run he can barely catch this cards as a whole are underwhelming they're disgusting they're ass i really don't know what ea was thinking with these cards they could have done so much better tyra matthew is okay because his name is tyra matthew that's the thing you we have a preference to certain cards and we love tyra matthew i mean Ty, tyra matthew is one of those guys in madden that everyone always likes cool guy plays you know young but the thing is like they never give him love in madden they never do at all and i never understand why and uh let's go see if these packs are not yet which they probably are not why am i not surprised let's see let's see and trading currency does not look like the packs are out yet either i'm gonna head back over to the man screen in about a second but guys there's not much left i mean it is just really off their game lately i don't know what's up i don't know if they don't have enough guys they just don't care it's hard right like i make a mistake once fuck accident a second time all right you know a lot of people to please i get it this is like the 50th time in like two months maybe more it's almost every day there's something it's kind of ridiculous content has been consistently like there's never a 10 30 anymore it's like 10 32 sometimes 10 45 sometimes the next day you know we've had a few issues here but let's head back on over to the madden screen real quick to finish up this video all right so back on the madden screen i'm gonna refresh this one more time so let's do a little little back and back left and right action real quick go on over to the store go check it out obviously i don't usually open a flashback pack you know maybe i was in, maybe i would have today but they're not here maybe i would have i probably wouldn't have but you guys get the point no flashback packs i took them out so i don't even think you can technically pull these guys i'm gonna go check the auction block real quick to see but i don't think so i don't i, I don't i'm i'm at a loss of words like it's actually like if i wish you guys were watching the stream they actually forgot that there was flashbacks and people were all just commenting it got to the point where i actually i was gonna release my video going over how there wasn't flashbacks today and how there was something in the title update which i'm gonna go over real quick right now boys by the way there is a title update coming and in this title update they are adding secondary positions to mutt which is actually really cool the way they're gonna be doing this is pretty much that certain players are now gonna have secondary position if you guys have ever played nba or fifa you know like let's say joel and anthony davis he can play power forward all set or center and he gets no overall hit at either position and his stats stay the same or like in fifa um messi can play left wing or like left midfield and then his stats stay the same no chemistry loss pretty much the same thing in madden they're gonna be adding that so maybe guys like troy palomalo or tyra matthew could play cornerback or safety or guys like pat p could play cornerback or safety 
or Aaron Donald can play defensive tackle, or Endama Kung Su can play defensive tackle or end, which I think is really cool, because they do have cards who shouldn't be at certain positions, like Khalil Mack, an outside linebacker, although maybe he used to be an end, or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things you could really do with that. Maybe they put Lawrence Taylor at right end, finally, and you could rock with him there. Like, I don't really know, but that'd be really cool, so stay tuned for that. I'll probably put that in the title so you guys know what to... Like what to look for, you know what I'm saying? The title update should be releasing. I think patch notes around like 11 ish. So make sure to go look at that on the EA.com. But that's pretty much the most important takeaway from what they told me. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think of that secondary position thing and these crappy flashbacks. Make sure to come join the family. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that naughty bell, boys. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.